Who said this? Answer, Irma Bombeck. With so many things to worry about in the world, falling down may be pretty low on your list of concerns, but you may want to rethink your priorities. Every year, a surprising number of seniors suffer falls that have catastrophic consequences. Fortunately, the Center for Successful Aging at California State University at Fullerton has developed a program to reduce the risk of such mishaps. Let's have a look. It's a startling statistic. More than 10,000 people over age 55 die each year in the United States as a result of falls. In fact, falls are the leading cause of accidental deaths among the elderly. And many of these accidents occur inside seniors' own homes. In California alone, an average of two older adults die from fall-related injuries in the home every day. That troubling figure prompted the development of a statewide initiative to prevent such avoidable tragedies. Take it up. All right, let's just fly. So that you want to practice your good walking posture, your good standing posture, and you want to keep your eyes up and practice eye glances down and up as you come through the spiral. Now, this is another good example of working with variables in our environment where we have some obstacles that are moving around us. So this is a nice way to use... It is a program designed specifically for older adults who have balance well. and mobility right. disorders. The goal behind it is to try to improve the multiple systems that contribute to balance that may not be functioning as well. Out and in. Older adults just love the program. It's a lot of fun. Um, they see the functional relevance of the program very quickly. Our instructors do a very nice job of always explaining to them why they're doing a certain activity and how that activity is going to help them do things during their daily life. So it's very much built around um, a group-based component, so there's a lot of social support from a group-based environment. Dr. Rose is a kinesiologist, a specialist in the science of human movement. Through her research on balance and mobility disorders, she realized that people could be rehabilitated through a variety of techniques and exercises. Okay. The result was the creation of Fallproof, which focuses on five major aspects of balance. The first component of the program focuses on center of gravity, training seniors to move through space while they perform weight shifting motions. Good. Yeah. <laughs> the second component of the program focuses on multi-sensory exercises that help stimulate vision, touch, and inner ear functions. And look as you go. Participants learn to react and to cues that will here. improve balance. Then we're going to continue over here. Paul, can you Next me? comes partial strategy training. Here, clients are helped to relearn physical movements and techniques of balancing that they may yes. have lost over time due to inactivity. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> if it goes outside the, the program's screen, fourth component involves something known as gait pattern enhancement and variation. Medical professionals manipulate senior styles of walking to minimize balance problems and maximize mobility. Either way, you want to turn around? Good. The final component focuses on strength and flexibility training. As we age, muscles in the lower body weaken. Restoring lower body strength is vital to balance control. Most of the people in here have experienced a fall recently. It helps them regain their confidence. It helps them build their strength. It helps them to learn that there are things that they can take control of in their life, specifically strength training. I'm going to the mountains, and I'll be going down a road, which is, you know, mountain road with dry roads. I'll take my cane with me, but I feel confident. Is that satisfactory? Yes, absolutely. That's, um, to become certified, fall-proof instructors undergo a six-month online training course, followed by a three-day certification workshop. So when we get to the end of the line, we don't want you to... This preparation enables them to better understand the wide range of needs and challenges that participants bring to class. Your body. There you go. We have a variety of situations that are present in class, most notably Parkinson's uh, neuropathy, which affects their, their ability to perceive through their feet. 
Marguerite is hearing impaired. She's totally deaf. We have had a lot of success with her. There were things that she did that I thought she might not be able to do because of her hearing impairment, but she has adapted very well to the environment. She uses her other senses to, um, to take in information. As you noticed on the foam, she was having a lot of difficulty on the foam, and that's because of her vestibular, her inner ear was not processing because of her lack of hearing. So in that regard, whereas she will never regain hearing, but she will be aware of what we're doing through the retraining. The other thing is there are things that we point out in class, not for them to have skill mastery, but for them to know what their skill deficiencies are so when they get out in the real world, they don't put themselves in jeopardy. Now you're at the edge, what are you gonna do? Gotta look down. Okay, that was a leap of faith, Willard. Oh. Yeah, because you didn't really look to the I ground. See it through the oh, you could see it through, well that's very creative. <laughs> Her falling didn't strike me until just recently. Yeah, I like the class because uh, I think it has given me some more confidence. I took this course about a year and a half ago, and that time I was very bent and I was pushing a little cart. It helped me to straighten up very much, so um, I practiced all the things, and this year I've been able to walk pretty much without a cane or any help at all, and I decided this was reinforcement that I needed again. I got motivated because I had vertigo and I was very scared of another spell from it, but I haven't had anything since and it's given me more confidence in what I do now. Even friends and family members are impressed with the Fall Proof program and the results they see. I was just here because my mom was in the class and I felt like, you know, they probably I wanted to see what she was doing and I wanted to see how it progressed and just the whole um, training program that they had here. So it was just a, a fun thing for me to kind of watch my mom and watch everybody else, you know, go through these challenging little uh, exercises that I've been with my mother a couple times when she fell and it was for absolutely no reason. So watching her do these things on her own is just, it's amazing to me you know, what they can do at their age. What I like about this most notably is that it is scientifically based. We're not just flying in and saying, do this, do this, and do this, because, oh, it looks good, and somebody says that this is a good program to do. This is all very controlled. Um, and the most important thing is that um, Dr. Rose has spent a lot of time researching what is appropriate for certain populations. Her research has been fueled by real concern that as the United States' older population grows, the number of victims of harmful falls will grow as well. Nice and slow. It is going to place a significant burden on the healthcare system in the United States, and that's why the development of very good prevention and rehabilitation programs is so critical to try to lower the risk for falls among older adults.